What's up, everybody? Welcome to Car Question. We're sitting outside with the top down in the MX-5 RF, and this is so much fun because right now, well, the weather is a little bit cloudy, though, but the temperature is just perfect to enjoy long drive with this car. Forget the highway, take the little street, forget the city, by the way, also. Go where you never have gone before and enjoy those roads with some turns ah this is so much fun to drive so right now we're going to talk about the specification and the road handling of this car by the way you probably saw the interior and exterior review if you didn't well start with that check the description you have the link down there so when we talk about Mazda vehicle, we have to talk about Skyactiv technology. And it's not just a catchphrase for Mazda. It's rather a total effort philosophy to reduce weight while improving the safety, the efficiency, and the handling capability, and the chassis dynamic also. So all the components are working together to give the driver a more connected and fun experience while he's going to be sitting behind the wheel. And I think that's because of that, that the massive vehicles are so much fun to drive. The slogan, zoom, zoom, vroom, vroom, depending if you're in French or in English, I think it's a good philosophy right now for Mazda. So let's talk about the engine that we have in the MX-5. So it's a Skyactiv 2.0 liter four cylinder. And as soon as you open the hood, you can see that this engine is not mounted as any other vehicle of the Mazda lineup. So it's a DOHC 16 valves, 13.021, a ratio of compression. This is a really high, but it's typical of Skyactiv engine. And the engine block, the cylinder head, I've been using aluminum for lightweight construction. It's going to be good for 155 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and the torque 148 pound-feet of torque at 4,600 RPM. So this number might not seem really high but I think that Mazda has a good balance between power and weight of this car and the handling dynamics also. So it's direct ejection, the red line is going to be at 6,800 RPM and send it there. It's where you're going to have maximum power and where you're going to enjoy to hear that nice sound of that engine. And don't forget to use premium fuel inside. This is where you're going to be able to get maximum output. You've got two transmission which are available. You've got the Skyactiv MT, the six-speed manual. And wow, this is one of the best transmission out there short throw precise you if you miss a gear with this transmission man go out and learn to drive but still you can go for the automatic uh, six-speed transmission which is going to be able to give you paddle shift right there mounted on the steering wheel but uh, the, the the experience of this kind of roadster convertible roadster you need a manual. You're going to have total control and this is going to be way more fun. And they all added some components also in the transmission to make it the better possible. And you've got light flywheels. You've got the connectivity that I like with the driver. The manual is the best really in those kind of vehicles. When it comes to road handling, well, this is a front mid-engine rear-wheel drive car with an advanced front midship layout. You can see it from the engine position, which is going to sit lower and further back in the engine bay to give you a lower center of gravity and quicker handling response. You can also see the different addition that they made in the engine bay, the, the sway bar, the top bar that they made to give more rigidity also. So let's talk about weight because it's really important in a car like this one. It's around 2,445 pounds when it comes to the manual transmission. If you go for the automatic, it's going to be 40 pounds more. They try to save weight everywhere in the car because this is so much important. The front brake rotor is minus 14 pounds, the suspension minus 26, the transmission minus 16, the drive shaft minus 3, the instrument and air conditioning minus 8. So this is much better than the previous version when you check those numbers. And you have to know that the MX-5 soft top is approximately 
150 pounds lighter than the third generation MX-5 and only 182 pounds more than the first generation when the MX-5 was born. So this one, the RF, is heavier than the soft top Miata, but they use it an aluminum power plant frame. You have to know that every components work together to give you the best gym by tie philosophy experience possible. What is that? Well, it's the elevation of the driving experience for connecting the driver with the car. You only make one with that car and it really feels. Let's talk about the experience when you've got the hard top down. Well, the master engineer tried to keep that little wind in the air effect but you have to note one thing right now I'm really tall you know I'm six foot two inches and what happened is that I like to sit really high and there's no height adjustment with my seat I can adjust the seat base though but that's not really enough in some kind of way for me so if I get myself really further in the, the seat possible I tend to be a little bit higher so it's kind of dangerous for my cap and I don't want that you know what will happen if I ride too fast boom bad air day and that's not cool to lose a hat but if you're a little bit shorter than me you won't really feel that effect though remember that acceleration are not really strong but you've got the perfect balance between great power with the car and probably enough horsepower to enjoy every turns every acceleration and this is an engine that likes to rev so send it to the red line if you want to have the best fun possible traction is not an issue because you've got a limited slip differential with a torque sensing so <laughs> getting in the curve getting out the curve is a blaze with this car you got also a sport tune exhaust system and induction sound and answer that you're gonna have even a greater feeling while accelerating to hear that engine the brakes the brakes are strong remember with the grand sport option that we have right now we've got some Brembo front brakes with a post piston design with unique rotors you feel really more power when you press on the brake the braking force is really strong if you ever go on a track with that car you're gonna see that there's no fade and the braking distances are really short you also have the great effect of firmness in the pedal though you combine good braking to good direction you've got a double pinion electric power assist steering right there with the Mazda MX-5 you've got pin sharp steering hardware that carries over but is uniquely tuned for the Miata RF that we have right now. The suspension sport tuned with a bill shine dampers, shock tower brace, you will find a front double wishbone suspension with aluminum arms and monotubes dampers. The rear is going to be a multi-leak suspension with aluminum arms and monotube dampers also. And you've got a front and rear stabilizer bar, you've got great tire size and when you combine all of those effects even if it's bumpy out there you won't feel that little sideway movements that usually when you enter a bump while accelerating with a rear wheel drive car that you feel you know those big muscle car with a v8 up in front convertible when you accelerate and hit a hole you find yourself a little bit destabilized while accelerating and eating in those holes. The suspension will do a great work but won't feel reassuring. But right now with the MX-5 RF, man, you can feel confident on any road surface that you have. Even if you get that little movement while you're going to be braking with the car because you've got bad roads here in Quebec City. So the general comfort is really appreciable. You have to note also that while you're going to ride at more than 120 kilometers, you will hear a lot of engine noise though because revolution will be over 3000 RPM. If you're tall, be careful with the wind effect. I told you about that. And even if it's not hot out there, I've ridden top down with temperatures like 14, 15, 16 degrees Celsius. And believe me, add a little temperature out there and you're going to be comfortable. Seats got great support. It's a little bit hard though to get in and out of the car. But hey, that's what happens when you're a tall and big guy just like me. Anyway, great comfort overall, great connectivity everywhere with the car. The experience is right there on top. Let's talk about security with a soft top. Sometimes it's not the best crash result that you get with convertible car. But right now with the hard top, you feel more secure. You've got a monocoque unibody with a backbone frame conception. That's going to be great also for resisting an impact. You've got a tons of security feature, but 
it's missing some but hey you've got rear cross traffic alert blind spot monitoring and by the way that's a great thing that you got those because when you do some maneuvers to go on another lane well you've got that big blind spot there because of the seat because of the roof and rely on those instruments right now this is a great addition be careful in reverse maneuver also you don't have any rear view camera and that's a shame so try to move the mirror to be sure that you won't hit anything because the car really stands low you've got lane departure warning system with the great burp from mazda you know when you turn it on you hear through the speaker that little noise you've got the eye beam control and by the way the lights are so great you've got adaptive front lighting system if you turn the steering wheel the light will go in the direction where you turn lighting is important also in the dark it's a cool security feature with the led low and eye beams that you have right now in the RF well it's 4.1 percent better than the Xenon version that they replace and you've got rain sensing wipers the manual transmission is the best choice for this car but if you're not used to driving a manual transmission and you fear of rolling down a hill because you're in that position where you don't want to be well fear not because you've got a hill launch assist which is going to retain the car in position for a few seconds let's talk about fuel consumption when you want to go on road trips this might be important for you the number is 8.9 into town 7.1 on the highway when you talk about the manual transmission and if you go for the automatic version it's going to be 9 into town and 6.7 on the highway but we did better than that uh, we did a lot of kilometers so in average 7.5 let's say but while we were on the highway doing some long road trips we get six liter per 100 so this is an amazing fuel consumption and you have a 45 liter maximum capacity right there in the gas tank so the Mazda MX-5 is such a cool driving experience no wonder I see a lot of guys out there bringing these cars to the tracks doing some time attacks doing a lot of modification to them you can personalize them the way you want let's say that you would like more accessories stuff well you got that but let's say that you like driving experience well suspension oh man there's so many stuff that you can put on this car and get even a better experience but hey these cars are all about enjoying the nice weather out there bringing something to your road trip and giving you more experience possible so that you will have great memories thank you Mazda for producing such a great car if you have any comments feel free to comment that in the section down there below don't forget to do a thumbs up because you like it remember that we have way more video for you guys check the description and the next video is going to be about comparing this MX-5 to the other car that you have in the same market. So remember, come and exchange with us, subscribe to Car Question, and see you another time on another video of Car Question. Oh, a plane.